It's early in the morning as a group of Romas living in this camp outside Lille in France get ready to go to the police. A week earlier, police officers had raided the site, confiscating their documents and ordering them to show up at the police station for deportation. Despite being European citizens from Romania, the French government says they have no right to settle in the country. They arrived and knocked the door like this, boom, 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 police, police, give us the documents. This is not good. I came here to look for work, not to steal or anything else. Some activists provide help driving the residents of the encampment who are regularly deported to the Belgian border. Behind me there is France, while this is Belgium. We are right at the border between the two countries. This is where the police is going to bring and expel the group of Roma people. We're going to wait for the police, but we have to be very careful and go notice in order not to spoil the police operation and most important, put at risk those who are involved. The police then return their documents, certifying that the expulsion has taken place and then just leave them. The next part is where the story becomes ridiculous. The Romas cross the Belgian border and after less than 15 minutes they are heading back towards Lille. According to the activists, the police have been stage managing this process for 10 years now. But why? It's so easy for the administration and the border police to expel them. They come to the camps, people sleep here so it's extremely easy. They're the only European citizens to be victims of this kind of thing. There is a huge controversy in France over the fact that the obligations to leave French territory are not fulfilled. Romanian people can improve statistics. In 2020 there were 13 deportations in this Roma camp and this is already the second of 2021. The expulsion of Roma people from this site accounts for 13% of the total in Lille region. But these deportations are not only fake, they are also counterproductive. In any case, they don't see their future anywhere else but in our country. So these expulsions prevent their integration and their ability to find a job. Victor and his wife have finally recovered their IDs. For now, they are safe, at least until the next staging. Elena Cavallone, Euronews, Lille.